Here's an example of how to graph a parabola in WebAssign. Once you have the vertex figured out, negative b over 2a, I get a 0, and then I plug it back in, and I get 0 squared minus 3. I get my y value by plugging in what that negative b over 2a is, so 0, negative 3. My axis of symmetry for a parabola that's shaped, you know, facing up or down is in this case x equals 0 because it's going to be reflecting across this y-axis. The axis of symmetry is always x equal to the x value of your vertex. So in this case, the x value of my vertex is 0. I know my axis of symmetry would be at x equals 0. When I want to go graph this now, it's important to graph the vertex point first. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. I believe I have to click a point and go to, in this case, 0, negative 3. I'm going to click on it. And then I need to choose another point that would fall on this parabola. So I'm just going to choose either an x value right away to the right of 0 or to the left of 0. So let's just use the x value of 1. So if I plug a 1 up into the function, I'm going to get 1 squared minus 3. Well, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So at 1, negative 2, that's another point that's on that parabola. Now, the nice thing about a parabola is we know it's reflective across the line x equals 0. So once I have the vertex point and one other point on there, I can then salute or select my parabola and put it through those two points. I should have selected that the other way around, though. So let me try that again. 0, negative 3. I'm going to also do a negative 1. Or, I'm sorry, 1, negative 2. <laughs> and my parabola is going to go from here through here. Make sure that's selected here through here and now I can see that I have my vertical parabola where the point one is at zero negative three that's my vertex and my second point is one negative two you know I could have also done negative one negative two but notice that it's symmetrical across that x equals zero line and then you're finished